Hello everyone, I am here with a pretty big Stampin' Up! haul. I hosted a party and I got a lot of hostess benefits, so um, I was pretty excited. It was kind of like Christmas came early. So I'm going to start with the stamp sets first. I picked up Painted Harvest. This one has been super popular. And all the stamp sets I got were clear. Um, I did not get the matching punch because it just punches out this leaf, leaf and it leaves a border around it anyway. So I thought I would just fussy cut that. I picked up the Mary Cafe and this does coordinate with the other coffee bundle that's in the big catalog. I don't have that one yet. Oh my goodness. Something just flew off the shelf and tried to hit me in the head. Um, but I went ahead and picked this one up um, because I don't know if this was going to carry over after the holiday catalog um, expires. I picked up In the City. This is a hostess set and there are so many stamps. There are 60 stamps. And, so, and they're tiny. But I thought I could use these in my planner. I'm trying to get into the whole planner thing. And um, one thing I really like doing is stamping in my planner. So I went ahead and got that one. And then the last stamp set I got is the Christmas quilt. And um, the stamp set doesn't really look like much but once you see how it's used it's very pretty very versatile i really liked that one um i also picked up the quilt top embossing folder so it's just the embossing folder and i think this is a double wedding ring i'm not 100 percent sure but i think that's what it embosses so i just picked up one embossing folder and I picked up the quilt builder framelits. So this does match the stamp set. And there are quite a few dies in here. Um, doesn't say how many, but these are two separate dies and these are two separate dies. So there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 dies. And then it has a little needle and the little spool of thread super super cute and again um so many different ways that you can use these so i am excited to play around with those i picked up the hometown greetings edgelets this has a matching stamp set which i did not get because i didn't really care for it it was very similar to stuff i've already i already have but the whole house neighborhood slash city dies are pretty popular right now. Um, I know that there are several stamp companies that have them out. So I decided to go ahead and get this one since it would be free using my hostess benefits. So I really love it. And I think this can be used for more than just Christmas. Which is why I chose this one. I really liked the Bethlehem one they had too. Where it was the edgelets that they were like the city of Bethlehem. But that I couldn't really see getting much use past Christmas on it. And then the last set of dies I got is the Up and Away Thinlets. I do not have the stamp set for this yet. I will probably order that during my December club. Um, but I went ahead and picked up the framelits. I have been wanting the thinlets and the stamps since they were released. Um, I just, I haven't picked them up. It just keeps getting lower, not lower on my wish list. It's just every time I plan to order them, I end up ordering something else. So I went ahead and picked up the thinlets. I just love this balloon out here. I think it is so pretty. And then I saw something where someone turned it upside down and made like a genie bottle and a perfume bottle just very pretty so that was it for my dies i picked up one punch i picked up the cat punch 
And then lastly, which not very exciting, I picked up some more clear embossing powder. I use clear embossing powder all the time with my water coloring and to emboss my sentiments. And then I picked up some rose red ink refill. And I just grabbed this because I had like three or four dollars that I needed to spend and this was the cheapest thing in the catalog. So anyway, thank you guys for watching and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.